Good morning children. Today we will discuss the chapter The Cockroach That Wrote Music. Stupid Homework The chapter starts with a line Stupid Homework. Benzie didn't like his homework. So he made this statement. So what did he do? Benzie tore the paper and crushed it. So what did he do? He tore the paper and he crushed it. So this is crushing. He said stupid homework. He tore the paper. He crushed the paper means it shows that he was angry. He did not like the homework. He took out a fresh piece of paper. So he was unable to do his homework for the first time. He tore the paper and crushed it and he threw away. And then he took out a fresh piece of paper to do the homework again. Which homework was it? Music homework. He said that music homework as a nuisance. Music homework, what a nuisance. He didn't like that music homework, so he is scolding. He is saying what a nuisance. Nuisance means what? Nuisance means a thing, a person, a situation which is annoying or causes trouble or problems. So, he thinks that music troubles him. It annoys him. So, he didn't like it. He dipped the pen in a bottle of special black ink and prepared to start again. So, now he made up his mind once again to write the music homework. So, what did he do? He dipped the pen in a bottle of special black ink. So, to write, he had to dip the pen in the bottle of a special ink. And by taking the ink, he had to start again. When he took the ink, it became too much. So, he say, too much ink. It formed a shining black ball, rolled along the nib and plopped on the new page. Just imagine children, if you dip your pen in a ink and then if you take out, how does it look? So it formed a shining black ball rolled along the nib. Near to the nib, it rolled. It plopped on the new page. What is the meaning of plopped? Plopped means sit. Or lie down in a heavy or careless way. So he took the ink and it plopped on the page. It sat on the page very carelessly. Benzi frowned. Benzi frowned. Observe the reaction here. Frowned means wrinkle eyebrows. If you wrinkle eyebrows, it shows your disapproval. So, Benzi did not like the homework. He wrinkled his eyebrows to express his disapproval with the homework. Miss Bell was sure to notice that. Who was that Miss Bell? Miss Bell was a music teacher. So, he thought that 
whatever the ink plopped on the new page was sure to be noticed by his teacher, Miss Bell. Then he said, never mind. Now, one of those curly things at the start of the five lines, should it curl around the bottom line or the second from bottom line? Second from bottom. Do you remember children? I had told you how to write the music notes. I will show you once again. Observe this sheet children. I said this is a music sheet right. This is a mu music sheet and all these symbols they are called as music notes. So these are called as notes of the music. And then I also said to you file lines whatever the file lines they use these are called as staff and this is a treble clef this is a bass clef I had given these information now observe the statement of Benzi he is saying now one of those curly things at the start of the file lines so this is at the start of the five lines. At the start, at the start of the five lines. So here five lines are there and it is at the beginning. So at the start of the five lines, should it curl around the bottom line? or the second from the bottom line. So he, is, so, he is thinking about this one. He was confused. And then he is saying second from the bottom. So, he got to know. So, then he is making the statement second from the bottom. Right. Benzi thought of his friends at the beach as he stayed at his homework. It seemed more boring than ever. So, what happened in the second paragraph? Benzi was feeling boring with his homework. He didn't like that homework. So, he thought of his friends. He thought of his friends. Where were his friends? They were at the beach. Then the question is, why only Benzi was doing the homework? Why weren't his friends doing homework? They might not have taken music as their subject. So, he stared at his homework because he didn't like it. Stared means glared. Means see something by widely opening her eyes. So he opened his eyes widely and he stared at that homework. He thought his friends were enjoying at the beach but he was doing that homework. If he had not taken that homework, then he could have also enjoyed at the beach. It seemed more boring than ever. After he thought about his friends, it seemed more boring. So, Benzi jumped. He wanted to move away from there. He jumped from there. When he jumped, there was a quick scurrying movement across the top of his desk. Something small and black dotted under the music book. So, what happened when he jumped? There was a quick scurrying movement. What is the meaning of scurrying? Scurrying means running with quick short steps. So, there was a sudden movement. Where? Across the top of his desk. What made that movement? Something small and black dotted under the music book. Under that music book, there was something that was very small and black dot dotted means moved suddenly, quickly in a particular direction. He lifted it carefully. Ooh. So,
saw. He lifted that to see what was it. Benzi hated cockroaches. He lifted to see that. And what was it? It was a cockroach. So it was a small black cockroach. It moved suddenly under that music book. Oh no! So why did he give this expression? Because he didn't like it. The cockroach had run through the blob of ink on his homework. See this children. This is blob of ink. What do you mean by blob of ink? Blob means it's a drop of ink. The cockroach had run through the blob of ink on his homework. Spindly trials were left across the page. Ruined. He would have to start again now. He lifted the book higher, ready to crash it down on the pesky, dirty insect. Spindly trials were left across the page. What is spindly trials? Spindly means very long and thin. Trials means a long line. Or marks left. So, spindly trials were left across the page. Cockroach had run through the blob of ink. And it was like it had left long lines on the page. It had left some marks on the page. When he saw that, he thought ruined. Ruined means destroyed. So his homework was destroyed, he thought. He would have to start again now. So he got angry. He thought it was ruined. And he wanted to start it again. He thought he had to start it again. He lifted the book higher, ready to crash it. Down on the pesky, dirty insect. What is the meaning of pesky? Pesky means annoying. So, this word is used for insects. Since he got angry, he lifted the book higher so that he could crash that pesky insect. Annoying and dirty insect. So, what was Benzi thinking while doing his homework children? He was thinking about his friends who were at the beach, right? Why could they be at the beach? They may not have taken the music as their subject. So, they might have been enjoying in that beach. What did he see on the desk? He saw something small and black dotted. It was quick in its movement. What was that? It was a cockroach. Did he like that? No, he didn't like that. So he thought that was a pesky dirty insect. So he didn't like it. The cockroach did not move. Though he wanted to crash it, the cockroach did not move. Cockroach was not scared. 
it sat there twitching its long slender feelers observe this now these are called as antenna so these are the slender feelers slender feelers so they are long and thin so it twitched it twitched means moved quickly it sat there it means cockroach cockroach sat there twitching twitching means making a quick movement with its long slender feelers so you saw what are feelers so these are the feelers by making the quick movement of these feelers it sat there ink particles stuck to its hairy legs so these are the hairy legs ink particles were stuck to this benzi saw that cockroach ink was stuck to that hairy legs so he hesitated to crash it the homework along with cockroach trails there were dots on the lines benzi couldn't remember getting that far surely he had only done the curly thing at the start three flats a bar line b d d and f impossible the homework why is he giving this reaction because along with cockroach trials there were dots on the lines now he is observing something here this cockroach has done the homework it had made some trials on the music notebook there were some dots on the music notebook there were some dots on the lines benzi couldn't remember getting that far so when benzi wanted to do that homework he couldn't remember it but cockroach had done some dots on those lines and which were similar to that homework which were the exact surely he had only done the curly thing at the start so he did the curly thing at the start at the beginning itself he felt boring he thought of his friends and he wanted to jump from there at that time he saw this cockroach that cockroach had done the homework bar line b d d and f impossible so it had done exactly the way it had to be done so he is giving the reaction impossible he watched his eyes bigger than saucers with the book still held in the air the cockroach walked to the blob of ink gathered a smaller drop in its front legs walked carefully over the homework page and placed the ink neatly between the lines so what did he watch he watched the cockroach walking on the blob of ink and writing the musical notes he watched his eyes bigger than saucers so he widely opened his eyes because he was surprised to see that he was shocked to see that with the book still held in the air the cockroach walked to the blob of ink so first the cockroach walked on the blob of ink because it wanted to gather that drop in its front legs and after that it walked carefully over the homework and it placed the ink neatly between the lines so it didn't simply move 
it knew something about music and it wanted to draw that carefully between the lines. Yay! Mouth to Benzie, suddenly remembering the book and placing it gently on the bare carpet. He knelt down, his face close to the desktop. The cockroach worked on. So Benzie was surprised. He suddenly remembered his book and he placed it gently on the carpet. After he placed it, he knelt down to watch it. His face close to the desktop. The cockroach worked on. So he arranged in such a way that cockroach could work on. Cockroach could write music on the homework book. I must have eaten too many peanut butter sandwiches when I got home from school. Benzie rubbed his eyes. Cockroach had finished the first line. Evidently pleased with himself, he stepped back to survey his work. Benzie couldn't move. There it was. A disgusting, dirty, creepy, crawly insect. It had written a line of music. Could Benzie be sure that he wasn't dreaming? I must have eaten too many peanut butter sandwiches when I got home from school. So when he saw that cockroach writing the music, he thought he might have eaten peanut butter sandwich. For that reason, he might have been assuming it. So what, he, what did he do? He rubbed his eyes to make it sure. When he rubbed his eyes and saw Cockroach had finished the first line. Evidently pleased with himself. So he was happy with himself. He could not do that homework. Cockroach had done. So he was happy. He stepped back to survey his work. So... He just stepped back to survey his work. He wanted to confirm whether he had done the work properly. Benzie couldn't move. He was shocked to see the perfect work. There it was, a disgusting, dirty, creepy, crawly insect. So, this is the description of the insect. It was disgusting, dirty, creepy, crawly. That insect had written the homework. It had written a line of music. Could Benzie be sure that he wasn't dreaming? So Benzie was thinking, was he dreaming or not? Was it real?